of fragments. Could I remount the river of my years to the first fountain of our smiles and tears? I would not trace again the stream of hours between their outworn banks of withered flowers, but bid it flow as now until it glides into the number of the nameless tides. What is this death, a quiet of the heart, the whole of that of which we are part? For life is but a vision, what I see, of all which lives alone is life to me. And being so, the absent are the dead, who haunt us from tranquility and spread. A dreary shroud around us and invest with sad remembrancers our hours of rest. The absent are the dead, for they are cold, and never can be what once we did behold. And they are changed and cheerless, or if yet, the unforgotten do not all forget. Since thus divided equal must it be, if the deep barrier be of earth or sea, if may be both, but one day end it must, in the dark union of insensate dust. The under earth inhabitants are they, but mingled millions decomposed to clay, the ashes of a thousand ages spread, wherever man has trodden or shall tread, or do they in their silent cities dwell, each in his incommunicative cell, or have they their own language and a sense of breathless being darkened and intense, as midnight in her solitude, O earth, where are the past and wherefore had they birth? The dead are thy inheritors, and we, but bubbles on thy surface, and the key of thy profanity is in the grave, the ebon portal of thy peopled cave, where I would walk in spirit and behold our elements resolved to things untold, and fathom hidden wonders and explore the essence of great bosoms now no more.